percentage rate and base. Good day students, welcome back to another lesson. Today, we will learn how to find a percentage, rate, or base in a given problem and solve problems involving finding the percentage, rate, and base. Let us start! Let's say I am selling a bag which costs 500 pesos, but I decided to put it on sale with 50% off. Now, how much is the discount? To get the discount, we need to get the 50% of 500 pesos. As we all know, 50% means half. This means that we need to get half of 500 pesos. Do you know what is 50% or half of 500 pesos? Wow, great job! You are right. It is 250 pesos. This means that the 50% of 500 pesos is 250 pesos. Now in this given statement, 50% is the rate. Rate is also called percent, which has percent sign. While 500 pesos is the base. The base is the entire or original amount which usually comes after the word OFF. And finally, we have the percentage. 250 is the percentage. Percentage is the part or portion of the base which usually beside the word IS. This statement can also be written as 250 passes is 50% of 500. To identify the rate, base, and percentage here, let's take a look. If the number is beside the word is, that is the percentage. While 50% has percent sign, that means that is the rate. And 500 comes after the word of, that means that is the base. Very good! Now did you know that the word of also represents multiplication while the word is represent equal symbol. This means that rate times base equals percentage. That gives us 50% times 500 pesos equals 250 pesos. Now for us to get the rate, base, and percentage in a problem, let us use the following formulas. To get the percentage, we need to multiply the rate and the base. That gives us the formula P equals R times B. Now to get the rate, we need to divide the percentage by the base and the formula is R equals P divided by B. And lastly, to get the base, let us divide percentage by the rate. So our formula is B equals P divided by R. For us to easily remember the formulas, we can use this triangle. If we are only looking for percentage, you may cover by your hand the letter P, which gives us R times B. If the missing term is the rate, simply cover letter R. That leaves us P divided by B. And lastly, for the base, the formula is P divided by R. Wonderful! Now you are ready to solve some problems. Let's try our first example. What is 20% of 300? The first thing that we need to do is to identify the missing term. We all know that if the value or the number has percent sign, that is the rate. 
And the number which comes after the word of is the base. That means the missing term is the percentage, which is beside the word is. Now, let us write the formula. Let's use our triangle. To get percentage, we will multiply rate to the base. P equals R times B. 20% times 300. The next step is to convert or change the rate or the percent into decimal. To change the percent into decimal, let's change percent sign into a decimal point. There you go. Now, let us move the decimal point two times to the left. One, two. There you go. Now 20% is now 0.20. Now you are ready to multiply. 300 times 0.20. Zero times 300 is zero. Two times 300 is 600. Now let's add. That gives us 6,000. Now since we have two decimal places here, let us move the decimal point two times to the left. There. Now our final answer is 60. Therefore, 20% of 300 is 60. Great job. Let's try another one. This time, we are going to solve a problem. If the original price is 150 pesos and the rate of discount 25%, what is the amount of reduction? The first thing that you need to do is to identify the missing term. As we all know, the original price is the original amount or entire amount, which is 150. That means this is our base. Since 25% has the percent sign, that is our rate. This leaves us percentage as the missing term. Now it's time to write the formula. The formula for percentage is P equals R times P. Now let's multiply rate 25% times the base 150 pesos. Again, before we multiply, let us change the rate or the percent into decimal. Change the percent sign into decimal point. Then move the decimal point two times to the left. One, two. This gives us 0.25. Now let's multiply. 150 times 0.25. 5 times 150 is 750. While 2 times 150 is 300. Let's add. That gives us 3750. But since we have two decimal places here, let's move the decimal point to the left two times. One, two. Our final answer is 37 and 50 pesos. Next one. What percent of 24 is 12? Again, let's identify first the missing term. Since 24 comes after the word of, that is our base. And 12, which comes after or beside the word is, is our percentage. And obviously, the missing here is the percent or the rate. Now let's try the formula. R is equals P over B or P divided by B. That means to get the rate, we need to divide 12 by 24. Now let's divide. 12 
divided by 24. Since we cannot divide 12 by 24, let's add 0. .0. There. Now we have 120 divided by 24. Let's put first the decimal point aligned from the decimal point in the dividend. Now 120 divided by 24 is 5. 5 times 24 is 120. 120 minus 120 is 0. Now to get the percent order rate, we need to change the decimal to percent. Here, to change decimal to percent, we are going to move the decimal point two times to the right. One, two. Since there is a missing place value, let's put zero. Now let us change the decimal point to percent sign. Now our answer is 50%. This means that 50% of 24 is 12. Wonderful! Now let's try this problem. Oh, you had 450 ml of alcohol in your house. After a week, he consumed 45 ml. Now what percent of the alcohol was consumed? The first thing that we need to do is to identify the missing term. We all know that the 450 ml is the entire amount that means that is our base. While 45 ml is the amount that we consumed which is part or portion of the entire amount. That means that is the percentage. And since we are looking for the percent which is rate, that is the missing term. Now to get the rate, our formula is P divided by B, which is 45 divided by 450. Now let's divide. As we all know, since 45 is smaller than 450, we cannot divide that right away. Let's add 0 0.0 first. Now we have 450 divided by 450, and that is 1. 1 times 450 is 450. That gives us 0. Now the answer is 0 0.1. But let us change the decimal to percent. Again, to change decimal to percent, let's move the decimal point two times to the right. 1, 2. Since there is an empty place value, let's add 0. Now, let us change the decimal point to percent sign. Now, our final answer is 10%. 10% of the alcohol was consumed. Alright, we have another one right here. Again, let's identify the missing term. Again, we all know that the one which has percent sign is the rate. While the number beside the word is, is the percentage. And the value or the term that comes after the word of is the base. This means that we are looking for the base. Now let's write the formula. Again, let's use our triangle. Since we are looking for the base, this means that we need to divide percentage by the rate. This gives us the formula B is equals P divided by R. Now 15 divided by 20%. Again, before we divide this, we always need to change the percent into decimal. Let us change the percent sign to decimal point. And move the decimal point two times to the left. Very good. One, two. That gives us 0.20. Now it's dividing time. 15 divided by 0.20. Let us recall how do we divide whole number by decimals. We need to make the divisor a whole number. Let's move the decimal point to the right. 
Since we moved two times to the right, we are also going to move two times to the right in the dividend. One, two. Since we have empty place values, let's just put zeros. Now we are ready to divide. 150 divided by 20. 7. 7 times 20 is 140. 150 minus 140 is 10. Since we still have 0, let's bring down 0. 100 divided by 20 is 5. 5 times 20 is 100. That gives us 0. Now our answer is 75. The number 15 is 20% of 75. Awesome job! Let's try our final example. Marco has a daily allowance of 10 pesos a day, which is 40% of his classmates' daily allowance. How much is his classmates' daily allowance? Here, we need to get the missing term first. Now let's take a look and analyze the problem. Since 40% has the percent sign, that means that is our rate. Now we all know that 10 pesos is a part or portion of his classmate's daily allowance. And we can also see that it is beside or associated by the word is. 10 pesos is our percentage. And since we are looking for his classmate's daily allowance, which is associated with the word of, that means we are looking for the base. Now let us write down the formula. Again, base is equals P divided by R. 10 divided by 40%. Before we divide, let us change 40% into decimal. Change the percent sign to decimal point, And then move the decimal point two times to the left. That gives us 0.40. Now, let's divide. 10 divided by 0.40. We need to change the divisor into a whole number. Let's move the decimal point to the outermost right. Since we moved two times to the right, we are also going to move two times to the right in the dividend. 1, 2. Let's put zeros to the empty place values. 1,000 divided by 40. 100 divided by 40 is 2. 2 times 40 is 80. 100 minus 80 is 20. Let's bring down 0. 200 divided by 40 is 5. 5 times 40 is 200. When we subtract, that gives us 0. Now our final answer is 25. Marcus Classmate's daily allowance is 25 pesos. Wonderful job, students! Now here are the things that you learned today.